Hi guys, Ebony Levon here, and today I am at I Am Music Wear Presents the Touring Class. which stands for I Am Music Wear. It's a musician's uh, line that um, me and Eugene Mayman Roberts uh, started. So behind that, I knew the element that I wanted to bring within the cool line was the educational development. So actually, the idea was always there to bring the seminar together, but as far as the name, the name, I happened to be playing around with new lines, and so I came up with the touring class, and I was like, oh, that's what we call the panel, the touring class. And so it fit with, you know, already what we had in mind as far as bringing the panel together. On the panel we had um, Kaisha Blackstone who is the CFO for Basic Black Entertainment. Had Aaron Draper who's a percussionist. He actually is currently on tour with Eminem. Like I said, my partner Eugene Marion Roberts, who is the MD for John Legend, he's the MD for Wiz Khalifa, Diedrich Lohman, who is a tour production tech uh, to everybody. He's, you know, and the thing about Diedrich, which I love, is not just like hip hop or R&B, he has been with like Red Hot Chili Peppers, and you know, so he's very broad as far as his resume is concerned. With Anshia Tool, you know, she's music and, um, and booking, and she works with one artist called Aaron Camper, who, you know, he's a background singer for Justin Timberlake, but you know, He's an up-and-coming artist as well. Andre Hauser, who's like the amazing sound engineer of sound engineers. DJ Active, you know, um, who's played with from Miley Cyrus, Turk, um, <laughs> um, to uh, Marsha Ambrosia, Anshia Winfield. She right now is the executive di director for Joe Scott's Blue Bay Foundation. And then we have Laia Sinclair, who she's Questlove's actually god sister. Not many people know that, and I'm putting that out there. Yes, I am. Uh, but she's also a radio personality for one of the radio stations here in Philly. So my biggest thing is was just to give nuggets for people to help them sustain in this business, just not to get in it. Because Eric, you know, you got 50 million seminars about how to get in it, but to how to stay in it, you really don't have that. So this was definitely a nugget of my own that I wanted people to take away from it is how to sustain in it. What would be something that you would definitely have to have every time you go on tour? And could you also say something that uh, you had to learn that was essential, that you weren't, that you, you know, it took you a while to figure out, okay, I need this? Best in a business account. Uh, don't spend all your PD on sneakers and clothes. And what? Clothes. What you about Come on, Aaron. Four things in line with clothes. Come on, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would just always plan for life off the road um, yeah. and yeah. when you're not working. Every day, you know, as musicians, as business owners, you're just unemployed every single day. So you just have to think like that and think in that mindset that you don't, you know, you don't have a job, a nine to five job. You know? quickly. That's real. Um, what I would say is plan, plan accordingly. Every situation doesn't pay the same, you know? And there's inflation and deflation in the world, so prepare for that, you know? That's all. Something that I realized that you needed really soon and fast when I got on the road, a working watch. Like, uh, being on time is something that's very important. Being on the road is something that's called oil spotting. Anybody ever heard of that before? <laughs> when a car pulls off, normally you got like an old car and pulls off as an oil spot. Okay, same theory, when the bus pulls off, you'll be pretty much standing where the oil spot is at. Oil spot. So that's what happens on the road when you don't know what you're watching. With. Like that wake up call at 6 a.m. You went to party last night? Cool, that's what's up. Uh, you might want to also make sure you have like nine alarms set. Sometimes I may have to set five, but that's just, you know, that's just the, 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 the beast of it all. But that's a major, like honestly, that is a major, major thing. Time, like, because it's really cost the money. You say people, you hear, hear people say, Time is money? Yeah, time is money, right? Act. Yeah. <laughs> Act just didn't come in because he was out there making some money. You know what I mean?
inspire you and where you're trying to go. Um, just utilizing social media, there's Instagram, Twitter, um, used to be MySpace, uh, and even having a website. I mean, because a lot of times, a lot of the musicians will get off the road, but then they, be, they become, they have their own bands, like a contraband or Man Man's band. It's like, what are you gonna do? Who are you when you're not with that artist? Right. And that's the main question that you wanna take in and realize like, okay, well, when I'm not playing with Jill, I am Aaron Draper, uh, blah, 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 blah. When I'm not on tour with Jay-Z or whomever, like, here you can check my music out. So I think, you know, just making sure that you have those websites, uh, making sure that people can find you, whether it's being going to a jam session, just have your cards, your, your flyers. Branding right now is very important if you want to go to the next level. And another part of branding is, um, well, really more like a piggyback thing. Like when you brand yourself, you want to know that that is what you stand for. Right. You know, a lot of people put stuff on Instagram that they know they would not want certain people to see, but it's just like they're around the homies and they're like, yo, let's let's put this picture up. Like by the end of the day, you're about to go to church tomorrow. Right. Yeah. You really are. <laughs> like I don't know if you know that, but you know. But by the end of the day, you want to brand yourself and you want that to be the, the visual of what you are and what you do. No matter, again, who you're playing for, what you're doing enough money or being consistent enough to put it in somebody's head. Like one of the top uh, record producers out there right now told me, Dre, when you have a product that you want to put out there, he said, what's your budget? Before I could answer, he said 75% should be marketing. How often do you hear a song that you don't even like, but you hear it so much you start singing it? Right. It's all, and that's a brand. That's a brand. When you listen to it so much and somebody has enough dollars or they're consistent enough to keep it in your face is when you get success. I'm telling you, the branding is so important. Always remember that. Remember marketing, remember I'm creating a brand and I'm gonna sell that brand. I would, I would say to piggyback a little bit on what Man Man said also, one of the important things about branding is what you put out there is your face and also the people that you associate with because people will lump you together depending on what they see and unfortunately, in our age of social media and all that kind of stuff, that is their first ability to be able to see who you're about. Whether it's right or what's, whether it's wrong, when they go to your, the front of your Twitter page, that first, those first three tweets, those first four pictures at the bottom, that's you. Yeah. That's who you are. The transition becomes easy when you attach yourself to the, necess the necessary people. Um, you know, it's cool to say, oh, this person really play, but that's cool, but he's never, ever, ever been on the road. You know, look at the reason why. Or when you attach yourself to people that's on the road, how are they maintaining themselves on the road? How did they get on the road? You know, you have to have mentors as well as give back. And me growing up playing in the city it was like everybody in the church it's like let's see who got the best band whether you're playing for temple whether you're playing for jehovah's chosen whether you're playing for anybody you know but at some point you kind of got to buckle yourselves down to realize okay who should i really study under who who do i want to not be like but i want to have some of those similarities and those characteristics so one of the first people i think i've actually worked with that was on the road touring was that man over there boots my good guy over there. We all know Eric that. Green. Eric Green. But that one right there, he was the person that was like, you know, schooling us when we were playing for TY. It's like, you know, so we weren't recording rehearsals. It was like we were making stuff on the spot and it's like we better know it tomorrow or next week or at the gig, you know. So it's pretty much getting under those right people to mold you, you know, um, it might not be one person, you know, like you might be around Dietrich for production, you might be around Active because he has so much experience, you might be around Aaron because Aaron is, plays percussion and you like percussion, you might say, oh man, I know somebody that's like Kaisha that knows everything behind the scenes of what's going on, you know, so it's kind of like you want to have those right figures and pick out what you need, like don't make yourself a duplicate. Yeah. but get the necessities to mold yourself to be able to be a necessity.
Great panel. I hope everybody learned something today. And um, let's keep making some good music and making some good music business. I hope that they took away like the jewels we dropped. Like, that's really what happens on the road. And it's important and necessary to anybody's career. Whatever it is, sound guy, tech, musician, stage hand, whatever. You know, it's just that it's instrumental. What we do is really just not a game. Like, from all aspects, from the top to the bottom, like just understanding really what we do. That it's not the picture that you may see that's posted, or you know, the, the light of it all. It's, it's more than that. It's really, we really, really you know, dedicate our time, absolutely, like an energy into so this. Is what we believe in. This is what we do. So don't make the mistakes that we all made, and we're giving information because this is information that we didn't have when we started. So we want to give back so that the next generation and people can just be great at what they're doing.